Heavenly Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you'll move on this listener right now in your gentle, loving, powerful, and merciful way as they listen to this message from All Nations Church in Tallahassee. Amen. Take your Bibles, turn to Psalm 46 this morning. As you're turning, uh, Erica and Jonathan, would you stand? I want to introduce Erica and Jonathan Campbell. They're new missionaries to the Awakening, which is a youth revival movement that is a sending agency to send young people around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You'll hear a little more from them at the end of service. Thank you, guys. We're glad you're here. And I'll let you introduce your guests uh, in just a little while. Do you hear the story about the... Uh, Young person that was taking flying lessons in a Cessna 172. First lesson, the very first lesson, the instructor pilot had a heart attack and died while they were in the air. That young student pulled the mic and said, Mayday, Mayday. My instructor pilot has had a heart attack and died and I don't know how to fly this plane. The air traffic controller came on and said, no worries. Just stay with me, listen to me. I'm going to talk you down and everything will be fine. He said, so what is your altitude? She said, I don't know what the altitude is. What is your height and your position? The young pilot said, well, I'm 5'5 five, five and I'm uh, sitting in the front seat. <laughs> Long pause. The air traffic controller said, repeat after me. Our Father which art in heaven. <laughs> Sometimes... We can't find the answer to our problems because we're in the way. We don't understand. We're not connected to the source, and as a result, all we see is the mountain in front of us. We don't see the God who moves mountains. Psalm 46 talks about that very thing. Look, read it with me, verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. That's all I'm going to read. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not, come on, say it with me, fear. Therefore, we will not fear. Because God is our refuge and God is our strength. That scripture tells us that when the world is caving in on top of us, when the problems are greater than we can handle, there is a God who is still able. There is a God who moves mountains. There is a God who seals sickness and disease. There is a God who's promised to supply. When you don't know what to do or where to turn, look up because help is on the way. There is still a God who is able. This psalm gives us encouragement to keep pressing on until we find ourselves in positions where the trouble's behind us, the victory is in us, and we're moving forward in Jesus Christ. You know we're living in troubled times, right? Things are tough right now. I mean, think about COVID-19. The last two years has been difficult for everyone. But you know the problem with COVID? The problem with COVID is the world and many believers are just like Pharaoh. We're afraid of the plague, but we don't fear God. You see, if you fear God, if your hope and your trust is in God, it doesn't matter what has been unleashed upon humanity. You can stand and say, I know my Redeemer lives. You can declare, for I know in whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. You can say, and none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, that I might finish my course. Course, are you ready for it? That I might finish my course with joy. Oh, come on, somebody. You need to understand that when you're walking through the water, when you're in the deep stuff, it's time to look up and rejoice because God is going to see you through. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Inflation at a 40 year high, gas prices off the charts, crime in our cities and streets. We can go on and on and on. Shortages in the grocery stores. They're saying it may get worse. Supply chain issues. Ukraine and war. Israel, a hot spot. Everywhere you look, you have to say there's trouble. Trouble all around us. But when there's trouble all around us, God is our refuge and strength. 
God is a very present help in times of trouble. It's amazing. You can be minding your own business, not bother, bothering anybody, doing exactly what God wants you to do. And all of a sudden, trouble comes driving down your street, backs up in your driveway, kicks your door open, and slaps you upside the head. It's the way it works. You weren't looking for trouble, but it found you. It found you. You never have to find trouble because it always has a way of finding you. And we need to understand that when that happens, there is still a God who is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Matter of fact, if you've never memorized a scripture, you need to memorize Psalm 46 verses 1 and 2. Put it in your pocket and remember that God is my help and my refuge in times of trouble. You don't have to be looking for it. All it takes is one phone call. All it takes is one conversation. All it takes is one doctor's visit where they walk out of the room shaking their heads. You don't have to look for trouble. Trouble will find you. But when you're in the middle of trouble, isn't it good to know my God is my refuge, my shelter, my safety, my security, my strength, and an ever-present help in times of trouble. Isn't it great to know we serve that kind of a God? And you know the good news? The good news is, I don't have to get down on my hands and knees and crawl to Him. The good news is, I don't have to pay my way to get His attention. The good news is, I don't have to cut myself and bleed and moan and groan and wail for Him to hear me. All I have to do is call on the name of the Lord and He is there. He is there. He's a very present help in times of trouble. So when you find yourself in that situation to which you have no solution, you find yourself in that place that you have no answer for, you need to remember our God is our refuge. He is our strength and a present help in times of trouble. I remember growing up during the Cold War, war. y'all are going to have to Google that to find out what it is, even you don't even know. But I can remember being in grade school, and one of those desks that you sat in, and there was a top to it, and then you sat behind it, it was all connected together. And once a month, we did a bomb drill. Yeah, because they were convinced at some point the Russians were going to nuke us, and we needed to know how to take shelter. Craziest thing I ever heard in my life because somehow if you crawled down underneath that little wooden desk you were going to be okay isn't that idiotic that was our practice for nuclear bombs get down under your desk it's going to be okay can i tell you we do some of the most ridiculous things even in the church when we need god's help it's like crawling under a wooden desk thinking we're going to be sheltered. No, when God says, I am your shelter, he isn't talking about getting under some flimsy piece of wood. He's talking about the presence of the Almighty surrounding you, enveloping you, covering you, leading you. Oh, you're never alone. He is the very present help in time of trouble. He's my refuge. He's my shelter. He is my safe place. Yeah, I'm going to say it. There's way too many folks today that get troubled by everything and offended by everyone. And then they say, I just need a safe place. You're welcome. I'll say it again, Rob. That's a Marine coming out in you, I can tell. It's time to recognize you're not going to find a safe place in this world. There will always be somebody waiting in line to offend you and make you mad. There will always be something that's going to scare you to death. There will always be something that makes you want to cover your head and run and hide. But you don't have to do that as a believer because God said, I'm your refuge. I'm your shelter. I cover you with my feathers and my wings. I lead you. I guide you. I never leave you alone. Oh, come on, somebody. He's my refuge. He's my refuge. We've got to get that in our spirits today. God is our refuge, our safe place. I don't know about you, but in my lifetime, I've had my share of trouble. 
Seems like it visits every now and then on a pretty frequent basis. There have been times I didn't know if I was coming or going. Matter of fact, yesterday, Jesse said to me, what's wrong with your knee? You know, I had a replacement a few years ago, two years ago. I said, nothing, it's just sore, it aches, it pops. So that may not be the norm, but the doctor tell me, you forgot you had a very severe infection in that knee, almost killed you, got into your blood. Boy, you better be thankful you're standing up and walking. And that reminds me every day, my God is my refuge, my ever-present help in times of trouble. Oh, come on, friend. We think that somehow when we come to Christ, everything is smooth sailing. There'll never be another problem, never be another issue, never be another pain, never be another pressure, never be a time of financial difficulty. I've come to tell you, if you're walking in shoe leather and breathing this air, trouble will find you. But the good news is, my God is our refuge. He is my strength and my ever-present help in times of trouble. Very quickly, I'm going to give you three things this morning. Then we're going to move on. I came to encourage you that God is our refuge and our strength, our shelter in the time of storm. David said he is, number one, our refuge. Number two, he said that God is our strength. He's our strength. Think about that for just a moment. God is our strength. How strong is God? As strong as he needs to be. How mighty is God? As mighty as he needs to be. Listen, you can tap into his strength and you will never exhaust it. You will never cause it to run out. But every time you tap into it, he's there with exactly what you need. He will see you through. He is your strength. Maybe you've been praying for healing and the healing hasn't come. Can I encourage you? You need to hang on, hold on, don't give up, keep praying, keep believing because the answer is on the way. And until that moment of healing arrives, he is your strength. He will cause you to rise up. He will cause you to be filled with joy. He will cause you to walk through the fiercest storms victorious. He's your strength. He's your strength. He's your strength, our strength, because he infuses us with his strength. Psalm 54, 4 says, Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. You know what that word means, the upholder? It means when I can't stand anymore, he puts his arms underneath mine. He lifts me up. And when I can't walk, he carries me. When I can't do it, he enables me. When there's nothing left in this old physical body, when I'm stressed beyond measure, when my mind is distressed, then that's when the God who is my strength shows up so powerfully and so able. God who is able. Because he's our strength, we stand in the midst of trouble. Be not dismayed, for I am your God, he said. I've called you by your name. I've redeemed you. Oh, somebody needs to hear it this morning, whether you're in the room or whether you're online, whether you're here with us today, or you're going to watch in the days, the weeks, and the months ahead. And by the way, thousands of people watch this through the week that follows and the weeks that follow. We need to understand that God is our strength. That's a word for somebody here. Maybe it's somebody that's sitting in your row that needs to know God is your strength. Or maybe it's somebody sitting in your seat that needs to hear God is your strength. God will see you through. He will enable you. You say, I don't understand. My situation is not getting any better. I have prayed. I have cried. I have pleaded. I've done everything I know to do. Then you know what you need to do. You need to rest in God. Oh, come on. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall rise up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Come on, stand. Believe. Don't give up. Don't give in. Because he is your strength. God's our refuge and God's our strength. 
That's why I can say in times of trouble, I lift up mine eyes into the hills from which cometh my help. My help is the Lord, the maker of the heavens and earth. That's why I can say as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people henceforth even forevermore. Would somebody say amen? amen. God is able. He's able. He's able. Oh, I love that last song. Jesus can do it, brother. I'm here to tell you, Jesus can do it. When you're in trouble, isn't it good to know that you serve a God who's an engineer who can make a highway through the bottom of the Red Sea and let the Israelites cross over on dry ground and then he shuts the waters and drowns the armies of Pharaoh. Oh, come on, you serve a great God who is your strength. Pastor Isaiah referred to it when you serve Jesus then you serve a God who's a firefighter. Jarvis is working this morning, I assume. A God who's a firefighter. And when you go into the flames, he takes the sting away. So you can walk out with the bonds burned off of you, but not even the smell of smoke upon you. Isn't it good to know I serve the God who is my strength? So when the lions are nipping at my heels, when they're ready to devour, I can say, oh, you don't know my God. My God's a lion tamer. He's going to shut your mouth and see me through to victory. Oh, come on, folks. Quit holding on to the ideology of the world. Quit holding on to the fear that the culture sows. And hear it again. We will not fear in times of trouble. We will not fear. And number three, he is steadfast. Steadfast, constant, dependable, faithful in times of trouble. In Psalm chapter 31, verses 1 through 5, the Bible says this, In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. I like that. Speedily. That's my speed. Speedily. Don't rescue me slowly, rescue me speedily. Don't rescue me next week, rescue me today. Don't wait till next year, let's do it now. Rescue me speedily. I got a story about speedily, I'll tell you some other time. Let me just put it this way, it's a really good thing that we host the Highway Patrol Cadet Graduation. It's got me out of trouble more than once. Because I like speedily. Yeah. Well, I rode that, ride that motorcycle at 70 when it'll run 90 really good. <laughs> Speedily. He's faithful. He's dependable. He shows up. He is a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock. You are my fortress. And your name's sake will lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they've hidden for me. And you are my refuge oh somebody say he's my refuge somebody say he's my strength somebody say he's dependable he's steadfast and unmovable he's always on time why is god always on time maybe not by our timetable but certainly by his because he's already there when trouble shows up he's already present in your circumstance He's already available in your life. He's already there when trouble... Let me go one step further. Before trouble can come to you, it needs a permission slip from God. Yeah, that's right. God's going to let anything touch you that he doesn't believe you have the strength, the courage, the ability to walk through and to overcome. Before trouble can knock on your door, it has to get a slip of permission from God to come against you. And God does it because he knows... You're going to make it. You're going to survive. I'm going to see you through. You are able to walk in victory. That's why the psalmist said God is an ever-present help in times of trouble. I came to tell you we serve a right now God who answers speedily. And what I'm telling you is that right now, today, this morning, in this room, this moment, His help is here. All you have to do is call on Him. 
As Pastor Isaiah said a little while ago, you don't need somebody to pray for you. You just need to exercise the faith that God has given you. Stand on the authority of his word and say, every promise in the book is mine and I lay claim to them here and now. Today is my day of victory. There is no situation too big for our God. There is no situation that confuses or confounds him. There is no sin that he's not longing to forgive. There is no body that he isn't ready to heal. There is no emotional crisis but what he's the great counselor. There is no rebellious teenager but what he is the God that can turn him around. I know I was one. And today I say, God is my refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. He's a right-now God. I wonder if you understand, He's a right-now God. Psalm 91, I'm going to finish with this, concludes it this way. Tom, please come back. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my fortress, my refuge, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. Did you hear that? He will deliver you from the deadly pestilence. Oh, somebody, come on, it's time to quit fearing COVID and start declaring I've been delivered from the deadly pestilence. God has seen me through. A lot of you have had it, but you didn't die, did you? Oh, hallelujah, he delivered you. I really wish I could get some help this morning. I said, a lot of you have had COVID, but you didn't die. He delivered you. A lot of you've had cancer, but you didn't die. He delivered you. A lot of you had heart attacks, but you didn't die. He delivered you. Come on, church. Hear me this morning. He is delivering us from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Oh, I love that scripture. He is going to be faithful to you and me. Stand your feet with me this morning. I've asked Tom to do an old hymn. One that's going to be really familiar to some of you, brand new to others. But it simply says this. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord God Almighty. Come on, will you sing it out with us? I want you to sing it to Him today. I want you to worship Him today. I want you to say, that's you I'm singing to, God. Great is Thy faithfulness. You made it to the end of the message, and now what? Is God leading you to make a change? Are you needing a good church home where you can grow and help others grow as you fulfill your part in the body of Christ? then we invite you to join us at All Nations Church on Sharer Road in Tallahassee, a multicultural church founded on the truth of God's Word and the power of the Holy Spirit. Our Sunday morning service is at 1030 and Wednesday night service at 7, plus youth group and kid power and small groups and more. For more information, visit our website, allnationstallahassee.com.